speaking of bones, let's check out another intriguing body of research. You might have heard the saying, diamonds are a girl's best friend. But what about diamonds are a body implant's best friend? Hello, I'm Dr Kate. And whilst that may not be a phrase you've heard before, I'm here to show you that diamonds and body implants can in fact be best friends. Implants can be made for all parts of your body, from your teeth all the way to your bones. We can even use implants to fix your arms, legs and face. These implants are usually made of metals like titanium, but sometimes the body does not like the titanium when the implant is put in. This is because the chemical compounds in titanium aren't able to properly interact with the tissue and bone in the body, meaning the implant can move around and sometimes has to be removed. While the solution may seem far-fetched, we're looking into how can diamonds be used to solve this problem. Come on, let me show you. Diamonds are a biomaterial, meaning they contain the same materials as we find inside the human body. Because of this, they are capable of integrating with the cells in our body. Part of this is because our bodies and diamonds both contain carbon. This means that when our body sees the diamond, it interprets it as a natural body material. When we use diamonds to coat implants, we can see that bones like it and that it reduces bacteria attaching to the implant. This is good because we want the implants to stay there forever. But how do we get the diamonds on the implants? It starts here at our lab where we use our 3D printer to print the titanium biomedical implants. Once we have our implant, we need to choose the diamond powder to coat it in. We use detonation nanodiamonds to create this coating. Detonation nanodiamonds are made by little explosions of TNT, which is like dynamite. You might be thinking, this would be super expensive, but no, it isn't. The next step is to coat the implant with diamond. For this, we need a giant microwave. We use the chemical vapour deposition reactor at the Melbourne Centre for Nanofabrication. The microwave here is inside a clean room, meaning we have to wear special clean room apparel just to go inside. The reason it's in a clean room is so the implant isn't dirty when it's coated, ensuring the entire surface is coated. Dust particles and even strands of hair could affect the process if they get on the implant. Now we're ready to coat it. This is the cool part. Today we're using a test object instead of an implant. The microwave heats the object and diamond powder under pressure within what looks like a plasma ball. You'll notice that the object gets so hot, it glows. It is under these conditions that the tiny nanodiamonds start to nucleate and grow into a coating. So, there you have it. It'll be a few years yet before it's available to patients. But what we've done here is taken the very first step in what's going to be an incredible and very sparkly adventure.